Raymond Donald Hong will return with his piece on the vigil honoring Ruby Ordenaya, including on-location interviews with Tina D'Elia of Community United Against Violence and Gina Eichenbaum of the Trans Project at UCSF. Sounds like more award-winning segments. Sure does. Let's get started. The intersection of Cesar Chavez and Indiana is located in the industrial southeastern section of San Francisco. On the early morning of March 16, the body of a 24-year-old transgender woman was found in the tall grass. Her name was Ruby Ordeñana, also known as Ruby Rodriguez. An outraged community responded with a white candle vigil in Ruby's honor in the Mission District. She didn't deserve this. And she, just, she was trying so hard. She was just trying so hard to make it. And just have dreams just like everybody else. I live on the streets, I'm from the streets. I hope this awakens everybody to be very careful whatever you're doing out there because it's a sick person out there and that's all I want to say. She was found naked and she was strangled and her body was um, was left on the street. So strangulation is overkill. Overkill is a legal definition. So it's a very intimate form of violence in which somebody is taking someone's life and they're in very close proximities, either with hands or with using an object. And that's very brutal. That's a very, very cruel way to take someone's life. And it takes time. In a way, it's a follow-up on the Gwen Araujo um, murder, that it's more in people's minds now that violence does happen. And not only violence, but really powerful and extreme violence often against transgender people and transgender women. This is traumatizing. It really outri outrages the entire transgender community and transgender allies. This is very traumatic because transgender people and transgender women and transgender women of color already face so much violence and harassment, sometimes on a daily basis. It often goes underreported. We don't even hear about how much a struggle is to live in your life and transition and be out in the world and be accepted and even in even in lieu of the progress that we tried to make in the memory of Gwen Araujo, we have a long way to go. Elected and appointed officials spoke at the vigil in support for the transgender community. Having Teresa Sparks, who's an out trans woman, as a member of the police commission, I think is tremendously important in a variety of ways. We just don't have the equality of transgender people represented in institutions of power. So this is one voice, you know, Teresa Sparks is one voice that is making an enormous difference. I just wanted to come and let everyone know that the chief of police of San Francisco is aware of this incident, the deputy chiefs, the command staff, the captains across the entire uh, system of the San Francisco Police Department. I want you to know that I will, Kuav will, and other community leaders will hold the San Francisco Police Department accountable for finding the person that did this crime. Mark Leno is a huge champion, I think, for a lot of transgender people. Um, he's just a huge friend and ally and supporter, and the fact that he continues to come around and show his concern and compassion, I think is a really good thing. And I want all of our transgender brothers and sisters who feel especially vulnerable at this time, that we are here together and we will defend one another and we will speak up for each other and for the respect and validation of our lives. If you have any information regarding Ruby's murder, please contact the San Francisco Police Department's confidential tip line at 415-575-4444 or KUAB's 24-hour crisis line at 415-333-4357. Help. In San Francisco, this is Raymond Donald Hong for Outlook Video. Thanks to all you viewers who joined us, and don't forget to tell your friends about Outlook Video. One of music's great powers is the ability to touch us with song where spoken words cannot. Next month, Raymond Donald Hong will be interviewing filmmaker Bud Dylan, whose documentary, Why We Sing, will be released to PBS stations nationwide this June for broadcasting. The documentary looks at the uplifting and inspiring power of gay, lesbian, and transgender choral music. 
We close our program with a performance from Why We Sing of the Seattle Men's Greek Chorus singing Not In Our Town, a song that speaks out against hate crime along with pictures from a community vigil for murdered transgender victim Ruby Odenaya. And again, if you have any information regarding Ruby's murder, please contact the San Francisco Police Department's confidential tip line at 415-575-4444 or CUAV's 24-hour crisis line at 415-333-HELP, H-E-L-P. Here now, our tribute to Ruby Ordinaya, along with credits for all the great volunteers who helped make this show possible. Thank you, and be sure to join us again next month. Bye, Bye for, for now. now. Your friends, one moment of conviction now, one voice quiet and clear, one act of compassion, it all begins here, no safety now in silence, we've got to stand our ground, no hate, no violence, not in our town, one moment of conviction.